The Ascension of Queen Victoria. Seven opium war! Fuck you, Germany. Hi, Spain. Remember when I said I'd get back to you? Hello, everyone! Welcome back to Victoria 2! Sorry I didn't have an upload last week, that was because I had some issues while editing. So, uh, let's get to our nation. Ah, yes. Britain in the 19th century. Taking a stroll in London, looking at the Big Ben, and dying from inhaling all of the toxic gases coming from the factories. Truly the greatest nation. So, Britain, the greatest power in the world, giant empire, the home of the Industrial Revolution. This country is already at the top. You know what we gotta do? Go even further. We'll establish British hegemony forever. I cannot tax the people. Worst nation ever. I'm quitting. Anyways, so uh, we start a war with a small nation over here in Africa. And we'll show them that being British is good. Inhale this fucking tea, motherfucker. Because otherwise you're dying. I, got, I don't think they're gonna win this battle. Now, the good thing about being a constitutional monarchy is that we can just change the party. There you go. We can properly fix the economy and tax everyone. I'm gonna inform uh, the British Navy that I need some extra soldiers over here because it's taking half a million years to actually siege down everything. Oh, Zosa, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not just gonna add you to my sphere of influence. In fact, I'm going to delete you from this earth. All right, Zosa, you're now part of the British Empire. All right, chat, we're at peace. Does that mean we'll chill down and just stay with everything we have right now? Nah. -uh. Because I, I have a few other places I want to go. Uh. Visit for a nice location, you know, with uh, only a few hundred thousand men. Rebellions of 1837. Yeah, I'm gonna pretend that nothing is actually happening. Well, the Canadians just go ahead and you know do their revolution here. All right, so I think I'm gonna already begin the Great British expansion because uh, I'm feeling like taking out that money and uh, becoming rich. The ascension of Queen Victoria. All right, chat, it's time for us to invade my guys. Hello chat, how are you doing bros? I am here to uh, definitely not take out your land. Sign this by the way. Don't worry about the fact that it's written in a language you don't understand. It uh, talks about trade. Oh, uh, we kinda just took a bunch of land away from Zulu. Which um, yeah sure, I'll accept a new satellite. We have Madagascar. What could possibly go wrong? What could possibly go wrong in invading Afghanistan? Right? We got an efficient sociopath. We got the efficiency, guys. Just don't ask us the mental state of our leader. Alright, China, you have decided to go to war with me. Meanwhile, I'm busy with another war. Um, I'll try to make room, China. Just, just wait a second, please. Thank you very much, Afghanistan. Uh, apparently, we're installing this guy. I guess they're ours now. We have another problem that we kind of need to deal with. It's called the Qing Empire. They are, don't want to give me permission to sell their population opium, so I'm going to go ahead and sell them even more opium. Alright, China, you know what to do. Alright, so we could, uh, we could go ahead and pick Hong Kong, but honestly, I just like Shanghai, bro. I, I, I really just, just love Shanghai. Shakespeare's mission to Kiva. Wait, Shakespeare? That's the wrong one, I'm sorry. Alright, so from that war, we got loads of money. So what I'm gonna do is uh, do the classic of not taxing the upper class, but taxing the middle or lower class at the max they can do. Very fair society we live in. Son of a bitch! Oh, uh, we're going to arm someone? I'm gonna employ the good old British tactic of sitting here and watching as East India Company does all the work. Welcome to the Congo. It took me blockading the Congo for them to give the Congo to me. All right then, bro. We're actually getting immigration? No way. <laughs> Holy shit, we have positive migration. Ain't no way we actually have positive migration sometimes. An expedition to Kabul. Sure. Bro. Let's go. Have to get revenge. Even though I'm not actually gonna do anything. Oh my god. I'm going to war with two nations at once. I'm just gonna watch as my puppets do all the work. Sint is gone. And now next is 
Afghanistan, who was also gone. Rebuild the palace of Westminster. Invest more than this plan. The Mosquito Kingdom Protectorate. Sure. Excuse me, what in the actual fuck is this, bro? What in the actual fuck is this? Austria just has this gigantic Arab Union. Austria, I am going to honestly just go in and make puppet them because I'm that fucking evil. Uh, oh, great Irish. I'm helping them. I am honestly going to help them. I don't want Ireland to just completely leave. I don't want Ireland to leave. They are quite literally leaving right now, but I don't want their population to reduce too much. I want them to work in the factories and not go to the USA. Let's be real here. Working in a British factory in the 19th century is a much worse fate than going to the USA. And also, it gives us money, so like, we'll step in and make the Punjab stable again. Go India, go India, go India, go India. Historical borders? Sure, bro. I'll be keeping this, though. I'll be keeping this. You went shooting my fucking sh Alright, so, taking advantage of the fact that uh, Austria is having a hard time right now, I'll go ahead and I'll start just fighting on the Arab Union. I'm gonna get them in my sphere because I don't want Austria to keep all of this land. I want them to be, f them to be firmly under me. Why? It's obviously to prefer prefer pr preserve the balance of power. And definitely not for my own uh, benefit. Alright, Arab Union, it's time for you to pay for existing. Austria did not join. Look at that. We got free reign to do anything we want to them. There we go, the Arab countries now were loyal ally, and the Netherlands became a great power. Fire, bro. I hope you regretted uh, doing this bullshit, because you better bet that I am going to, to build that Swiss canal. You better bet I'm going to build that Swiss canal and kill you later on. Rising in- Oh, okay. India, I choose you! Don't mind me, guys. I'm just doing the second opium war. Alright, China. Give me Hong... Hong Kong, where is it? There we go. Give me Hong Kong. And I shall do the Treaty of Nanking. The clock tower is finished. Hell yeah. London now has the Big Ben. It is official. The Irish famine is now officially over, as you can see by there not being any people starving anymore. And uh, they, they have more population than Scotland in this time. India, I choose you! Thank you very much. Um, although that's kind of owned by me and not the East India Company for some reason. Alright guys, it's time to build the Suez Canal. There we go, give them as much money as they want. The Persians siege Herat. Mother f her. Fight me. Fight me, bitch. And by fight me, I go, uh. East India Company, I choose. Chat. Chat, welcome to Africa. Sepoy Rebellion. Oh, shit. Thank you very much, Persia. I'll put a punitive expedition. This time, I'm actually gonna do the work myself. Look at the surprise. Wait a second. Oh, uh, oh! I think I have to put make my own British army now. Okay. Oh, uh, we got the British Raj now. There we go, bro. Now the Mughal Empire is back in the British Raj. Don't mind me, guys. I'm just doing the you know third Opium War of China. All right, an equal treaty. Holy shit. Uh, first of all, Egyptian ex excavations? Give me Hainan. All of it. The 100 fish produced in Hainan is going to be amazing for the British economy. Alright guys, I think we should restart our Imperial. And uh, we're starting with killing Zanzibar. 
Conflict of Burma. Okay. Green serialism. Give me it. Um, I don't think I'm joining that one. I think I'm joining that one, Denmark, to be honest. There we go. Got a chunk of them. Anyways, now for our other war. Chunk of land has been acquired from them. Uh, I'm going in. Not our own Lagos. More colonial ventures. Yippee! The Empress of India. Minus 10% tax efficiency. Minus 20%. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts so badly. We finished the Panama Canal. Now we can go across the pa Panama Canal. It's the fucking Suez Canal, goddammit! Finally, I, I, I got rid of Arrow. That one nation I was attacking, and then now I can do a... Penal Code. Imperial Service. Don't mind me, guys. Just need a fourth of you more. More unequal treaties. We got this treaty port now. Time to break the Chinese team up. Because uh, right now, we really need that goddamn tea, you know? Copper in the Cong Congress of Berlin. Stabilize the Balkans. Uh, yeah, I think we just kinda... I think we just kinda put the final pin on that Ottoman Empire thing. The final nail in the coffin. Because uh, they're just basically just talking up. Why did Greece get stolen from my sphere? What is up with this game and Rain only taking things from my sphere without talking or giving me any indication that it happened? It took such a long time, but I can finally fix the Irish situation. Just don't mind me, guys. I'm doing the fifth opium war. That's a celebration for the fifth opium war. We are taking Taiwan. Oh no, yeah, another treaty port. China, I'm not backing you. Alright, we have loads of infamy in the menu. Let's follow the stars. Oh my fucking god, Afghanistan. Oh my fucking... An alliance with Japan. That actually sounds kind of good for now, though. I'll probably not keep it later on, just because right now I cannot, cannot ally any great powers inside Europe. Fuck you, Afghanistan. is back under British control. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Don't mind me, guys. It's just a sex dopia war. The third Burma war. Thank you very much, China. Company, invasion of this. Oh, um, they just kind of declared independence. Okay. Wait, the scramble has already started? Okay. The scramble has started. The scramble started. Get ready. Okay, I need more divisions everywhere. Got all of Burma. I oh, just got a, a lot more things to do. British South Africa company, let's go. A shanty empire is back under us. Alright, so now that we own Aiden, establish the Somaliland protectorate. Oh, I can't use the cast spell anymore. Oh well, let's go ahead and uh, completely wipe out Sokoto. Alright, we have taken over Nigeria, and now we can push even further. This time into Eastern Africa. Now the thing is, is that we still have some stuff we could take. More so over here now. Now I don't know if my troops will survive crossing into unknown lands. Oh, uh, British production. Is there an option to focus on tea production, bro? Push forward into Africa. We will stop only at Cairo. Out uh, here. I love colonization. My pastime is destroying cultures 
and stealing all of her resources. More conquest, more conquest, more conquest. Alright, everyone. Call nice Togo. Hey guys, could you please explain what is going on for with our military salaries? Oh, this game shouldn't have done that. It gave me a punitive expedition thing against the Ching Empire. Why is it always the most insignificant nation looking islands like New Caledonia? Finally end the pain of having to keep Sulu in my sphere rather Spanish fucking trying to steal them. So everyone, uh how is the weather in your location? Is it good? Mine personally is seven opium war! No one gets the fucking combo, bitch. No one gets the combo. I already have the combo. I get the combo. Alright, there is an actual fucking massacre. Elementary, my dear Watson. You, Austria Hungary. I am not giving you the goddamn Congo. You heard this? I am not giving you the Congo. Guys, you know what time it is? It's time for that Eve Opium War! I'm joking. It is actually the Box Rebellion this time. Fuck you, Jack. I love bullying China. Wait, they're mostly westernized? Oh. Oh. Well, uh, they're gonna start being an actual threat now, which uh, that's it's that, that's not very good. I wanted to do more opium wars, but I guess it's not happening anytime soon because uh, can exactly do an opium war against a westernized nation. Well, uh, the Pax Britannica is officially over, and I'm going to break the Chinese tea monopoly to celebrate the century. So I saw that France was uh, justifying against our fort, so I'm going to go ahead and do what any sane nation would do, which is take it before they can. What do you mean, guys? I'm totally. What am I, what am I going to war with? Oh, that's what I'm going to war with. Afghanistan, you got it, right? You got it. Okay, so I've noticed that the Union League, League is just chilling here. They have no one, no friends, no allies, and they just have this province that... If you don't know what this means... Um, if you don't know what this means, um... That is a lot of silver. That, that is a lot of fucking silver. They don't have any technology. So, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead. And you know. Did Queen Victoria just fucking die? Now, let's see how much money I'm getting from this. Holy fucking shit, bro. Well, not gold, silver. I'm getting 300 silver from that. Oh, that's beautiful. It's so much money. I'm surprised I'm not ca causing any sort of silver inflation. I was expecting the US to support their American neighbors, but no. Venezuela just gets screwed over. Alright, Germany, uh, let's just go ahead and assault this. Give me prestige. Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, create the Australian Dominion. Uh, insane, bro. I create the Australian Dominion and then Queen Victoria fucking dies. Don't you guys think there is some kind of relation here? I'm really not sure why Queen Victoria dies the second I create Australia. It's 1901 and it's finally abolishing penal colonies. I love how I'm so powerful now, I can basically just resolve the crisis against the German Empire without them even getting any allies. It's just a free prestige machine at this point. Number one in everything. It's been such a while since I've seen that happen. Soon, nobody's gonna be able to challenge me. Just trust me, there'll be a lot of fun later on in this video. So right now there's a bit of a crisis to liberate Korea. I'm trying to see who's gonna join Japan's side so I can see if I can uh, do a little bit of trolling against the Mr. Germany. Just a little bit though. What if we support our France on this? We watch China change its banging China live.
Cut. Fire. Absolute fire war, bro. I almost lost all of my man fighting Germany in that. It's time. It is time for my number one enemy to fight. War of British Aggression becomes a great war. Ain't no fucking way that they're using France to go around my line, bro. Germans really are dealing 8 mana of damage to this army. Um, I think they did some funny stuff to uh, Russia. It's fine, what could possibly go wrong? They really just send the entire Austro-Hungarian army against me now. Finally it's over. Fuck you, Germany! Ah. I love this so much. Guys, I think I got a bit too silly. There is one more country that has always annoyed me to death. Hi, Spain. You know it's bad when you get beaten in the mountains. Or Spain to this man told the Inner Empire. Out of That is a lot less damage than I, than I wanted to do to Spain, but I guess it's fine for now. Apparently I have Jesus part of the, the armed forces because they can just walk over hundreds of kilometers of water. Sure, Korea, I'm willing to back you. Why did you only give half of North Korea to them, bro? Hey Afghanistan, I'm not really sure as to why you just declared war on me, but uh, you pretty much just screwed yourself over. Hello friends in Austria-Hungary, I have come to offer you a free ticket into the fucking shadow. Finally, bro, it took you a long fucking while. Yeah, a long while to give up. Now you're gonna suffer. Okay, so it basically took away 95% of his colonies, except for Congo because I misclicked. I don't think they're really doing very well now. I wanted to release more stuff from them, but it just. I just don't have the infamy and. The war goals are just not there, so for now they get to be like this. Germany, Germany. You really chose a war with that one, bro.
72 war score! What the fuck are you doing, Germany? What the fuck is this? They have their entire army stacked in one province? Fuck you, Germany. Fuck you. So, um, looking at Europe and seeing how much time I left, I'm not sure we can do much. I'd have to truce break and fight France and and fight France as well if I want to fight Austria Hungary. I'm pretty sure I don't have enough time to destroy the U the USA. So uh, I guess this will leave off. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.